captured me Lifted from the misery A distance between you and me You're the one I need You're the one I need Standing here in victory Knowing that you died for me plunged into a bucket. What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, I'm practicing for my baptism this Sunday. Oh, you're getting baptized this Sunday. How cool. Yeah, that's why I got the bucket. So why do you feel like you need to practice? So, I'm doing a lot of research and looking into this whole baptism thing, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that I can hold my breath long enough so that when I go under the water, there's plenty of time for me to really get rid of the old self, and when I come up, I'll be able to enjoy the newness of a new life in Christ. Ah, so you think that by going underwater, you're going to dissolve the old self, and you're just going to come back up with the new self? Uh, yeah. How long do you have to stay underwater? Eh, not very long. Check this out. <gasps> <gasps> Michael, this is entirely unnecessary. What? Yeah, dude. Baptism is a symbol. A symbol? Yeah. Like the clang clang music symbol? No, not the clang clang music symbol. The like like it's a uh, it's kinda like my marriage ring. What? Yeah, see, this ring isn't the marriage itself. It's just a symbol of the commitment that I've made to my wife. Huh. Yeah, just like baptism, the act of baptism is a commitment, a, a symbol of the commitment that you made to Jesus. Uh, Does that not make sense? Yes. Okay. Bear with me. Let's watch this video for a minute, okay? And, and maybe that'll clear things up. Okay. In Colossians chapters 2 and 3, Paul's talking to the church about being baptized in Christ, being equipped with everything you need for your Christian faith. And in fact, in chapter 2, verse 12, he says, Having been buried with him in baptism and raised with him through your faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. So he's saying baptism is a symbol, right? It's a symbol of a spiritual truth of what Jesus has done for us. So when you're plunged under the water, you're buried with him in death and then raised to new life with Christ. And it's a commitment, it's a public commitment to your faith in Jesus. Just like a wedding band is a symbol of the fact that I'm married to my awesome wife, Sarah, 
Baptism is a symbol that you've placed your faith in Jesus. And he even goes on further in chapter 3 of Colossians, verse 2, he says, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you're, you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. So he's saying, after you've been baptized, you've made a commitment. You are now with Christ Jesus. You're to set your mind on things, heavenly things, with God and no longer on earthly things. You are now a Christian after having been baptized. And if you have not been baptized, if you want to make that commitment, we would absolutely love to baptize you. We would love for you to reach out to us. Talk to your parents, reach out to someone, tell them, hey, I haven't been baptized yet. I want to make that public commitment. I want to be baptized to show people that I have placed my faith and my trust in Jesus.